Imagine a world where you could just use your thoughts to control your environment. Think about controlling different aspects of your home just using your brain signals, or maybe communicating with your friends and your family just using neural activity from your brain. At DARPA, we're trying to build what are called neurotechnologies that enable all of this to happen. And how are we getting there? Well, we take on some of the world's most challenging kinds of problems, and we build some of the fundamental kinds of technologies in order to make some of these things a reality. So think about people today that are paralyzed and maybe cannot move. We can develop direct brain interfaces to enable them to have near natural kind of control uh, of a prosthetic limb, for example. Or maybe somebody living with a brain injury who can't remember anymore, we can develop direct brain interfaces that could allow them to remember in a way that a normal person could ultimately do this. And again, think about DARPA. DARPA takes on some of the world's most challenging problems. It's an agency that can go after these kinds of issues and bring together key stakeholders in order to make all of this happen. This comes from fields of science, engineering, technology, mathematics, some of the world's leading experts in order to make biological technologies a reality today. And I have a very personal experience with all of this. Uh, even when I was a student, I worked on DARPA problems. And if it wasn't for the DARPA vision and the DARPA way of approaching these kinds of problems, maybe I wouldn't have thought about the future 30 years uh, from now in the same way that I do today. So I'm really looking forward to this uh, vision of the future and we're working really hard to make it a reality.